In this video, I'm going to show you how I run the best offense and the best defense in Madden 21 in a live online head-to-head -head matchup where I'm going to be breaking down some live gameplay for you guys. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what the channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21 and one of the ways that I accomplish that is through um, sharing with you guys gameplay videos, um, just different strategies that I've been employing, you know, kind of as I'm going about my, you know, standard gameplay. So we're going to break that down live for you in today's video and I'm actually uh, working on a little bit of a different uh, a little bit of a different offense. I've been running a lot of the Jets uh, playbook over the last couple of weeks, and I've actually been really, really enjoying it a lot. Um, their gun bunch is so fun. I forgot how much I uh, I really do like gun bunch. Now, I'm still learning it a little bit, but they have three of the best formations uh, in the entire game with this RPO, uh, this, this like trips tight end offset that has this really really glitchy uh rpo type of play they have a nice level sale you could go pa cross they have the bunch tight end pretty much everything that i want out of bunch tight end they have it uh in their in their playbook here you know they've got flood they've also got this play jets dig which is super super glitchy so you know just trying something a little bit different um if this if anything turns up from this as far as ebooks and stuff like that go uh you'll, you guys will definitely uh, know about that but uh you know starting out here just kind of learning some new plays some new concepts um in, in in rolling here so again you know we're gonna start with jets dig jets dig is one of my favorite plays in the game just because it has everything that you really need um from an offense the beauty of this is you can easily move in and out of the formations i love the fact that i can go right into bunch tight end really really quickly and really really smoothly and be able to go into be you know all of the stuff that i love to do out of bunch tight end i can still do it um, but now i just have the nice gun bunch attached to it and there's that inside zone i was talking a little bit about that um with somebody in the discord earlier if you haven't joined the discord yet be sure to do that um there's a link in the description for you to be able to do that but this this run play is super super good especially when you double team the the nose tackle it makes it like a thousand times better and you can do that as well i'm gonna go to one of my favorite passing concepts here um this guy's running a lot of cover four um, so I'm going to go to one of my favorite passing concepts. Now, again, I love the this this little play right here out of the mesh. I think this is such a good route to uh, Tavon Austin here. You see, I'm just going to throw with a hard outside pass lead. Um, unfortunately, Gunslinger sometimes throws it so hard that it zips it past the player. Uh, and as you can see right there, it did. But, you know, these three to four formations, and I actually really like... Um, even like the five wide stuff that you can do out of this playbook, you can go into the five wide. They got some really good stuff. You can go into the single back uh, wide trips and, and have some good options as well. So this Jets playbook is just something that I'm kind of uh, honestly kind of testing out a little bit here. Uh, but you'll you'll know for sure if, if this is something that I'm going to be looking at maybe doing um, an ebook on. I've gotten a lot of requests for for bunch ebooks, so I've been kind of testing this out here. Um, and there you see, there's that Jets dig play right off the bat, jumping up for seven points for us. Now, uh, defensively, still in the 46 playbook. If you want to get my full defense, that's in the description. Um, still running 335 to 335 wide. Uh, my 335 wide defense has been the best defense all season long. And uh, I just think it's going to continue to do that. Now, uh, really quickly, I do want to let you know about my, the fact that I did get a new phone number. So if you have any questions, um, you can always text me. My cell phone number is, uh, my new number is 208-218-6900. So you can hit me up via text message anytime. And if you want to get a free preview to both my offense or my defense, those those are available in the text message membership, which is basically every single week we sit down and uh, release a new full offense or full defense. And so if you want to get that, that link is available to you. Or um, I'm sorry, all you got to do is just text me. Uh, and what I would do, if you text the word Madden uh, to that number, um, that's going to you know allow you to get that even easier. So uh, my opponent is running some gun spread, so I'm actually excited to play this. Um, spread is a, a, a little bit of a monster, in my opinion, to defend. It's a tough formation to defend. So we'll see kind of how he does this. I was running spread in the beginning of the year. I actually have a whole ebook on that as well, and you can get that in the description um, if you want to learn some gun spread. Uh, I was running that earlier in the season uh, and had a lot of success with it, really. Uh, it really taught me a lot about passing. So... So anyways, uh, defensively first drive, we're gonna kind of see if he can beat match coverage. Match coverage is my favorite coverage to play out of. Um, 
you know, one of the things that I, I just really like match coverage. I think match coverage just does a good job uh, against a lot of the things that people like to do. So I'm going to sit in match coverage until he forces me to get out of it. You know, basically that's kind of my plan. Um, the cover four match defense, we released that in our text message uh, membership playlist uh, this past weekend. Uh, we're going to start releasing our text message videos every week on Saturday. Um, it's going to be on like Saturday. It, it might, I think right now where I'm going to do is I'm probably going to release it like early Saturday morning, like maybe like not even early Saturday morning, like midday or something. But anyways, um, the reason I, the reason I'm bringing that up is because if you want to get the full cover four match tutorial, that is available for you guys in the text message membership playlist as well. Uh, all you have to do is text the word Madden to my new cell phone number, uh, which is in the top left-hand corner of the screen, and it'll get you that video. All right, so let's see here. He's going gun flex, um, running backs on the left side. Uh, normally, my rule of thumb is I always like to shift opposite or like shift toward the running back side. Um, I find that's the easiest way to shoot inside zone for most formations. There are some nuances with that. Like if you're playing U trips, there's a little bit of nuance with that. Uh, and right there, another quick flat route from that running back side. So I'm definitely going to have to start watching that. And that seems to be kind of one of his go-to plays. Uh, right here, we're just going to put that line. We're going to try to see if that linebacker will cover him. Uh, he's going three by one here. It's actually an interesting little formation. I actually like this formation a lot. Little trips. And right there, it was probably bad user by me, but we kind of had him where we wanted him. And you see out of the quarters, whenever you bluff blitz, um, another thing that I like to do here, just because he's throwing a lot of flats, um, I'm going to I'm gonna man up the running back here. So he's man-to-man -man wherever he goes, and I think he's in trips. Uh, I don't know what this formation is, actually. It's an interesting formation. And right there, we're able to get the stop. Good job. So, um, yeah, I don't know what formation that was. It was like four... It was four by one little quads formation, which actually I haven't seen a ton of that. I think that's got to be, this guy's got to be probably in the spread playbook. Um, right here, I don't really know what to do with my linebacker. So I'm going to man him up on the running back because he's thrown so much to the running back in this drive. So, and there you see, he's motioning around a lot too. So that's another thing that's kind of hard to navigate a little bit. Um, we're going to move this guy around. He's going to motion that tight end out. And let's see here, a little PA crossing route. And Savage is going to be able to not get the pick, even though I was right in the area that I needed to be in. But no big deal. We're going to force a field goal. And um, let's see, spread double flex for him. Oh, he's going to go for it. Okay. Um, right here, just because of this down and distance and kind of some of the things that I'm seeing about this drive here, uh, we're going to try to send some pretty heavy pressure at him. And see if we can get that user rush in. This is right out of the book here. And hopefully we'll be able to get the pressure in fast enough. Um, you know, that'll mess up his, you know, reads. And he actually blocks him there. Good job. And there you see the pressure screams in off the edge. We're able to get the stop. And offense is going to be able to get back on the field. Uh, and let's see. I remember we're going to come out in that Jets dig again. And um, one of my favorite plays from Gun Bunch is this flood concept. And I've been doing several different versions of this setup, but one of them is just this quick little flat right here to the tight end. Um, flood is such a good concept. You can run, flood is probably one of the best concepts uh, in Madden 21, in my opinion. And so you can actually, uh, you can actually learn a lot about, about the, the game by using that flood concept here. Now right here, we're going to go to Mesh Post. This is one of my favorite plays in Madden history here. Um, you see we're going to get that instant win animation there on that left side out route. And we're going to take that and get up field for a couple yards here. And he's kind of sticking with this 3-4 odd style approach here. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is maybe move into some bunch tight end stuff. Um, if he's going to stick with this, this probably means that there could be some heavy pressure uh, coming from this defense. So we're going to go right into this uh, PA boot over here. You see he's going to mess up some of his adjustments. And we're going to be able to go with one of the best plays. Uh, probably the number one most dominant play in Madden this year. 
uh, PA boot over. Such a hard play to stop. Um, and you can always move. What I love about this New York Jets playbook is that you can move in between three to four of the most powerful formations in the entire game, and you can move really quickly in between them. And so it makes it such a uh, such a tall task for them to be able to stop. So for example, like right here, I've got the left side of the whole left side of the field is open. So I can go to this play tight end corner, and I can run some of my favorite little left side floods as well. You know, like right here, there, uh, there, Devontae Adams wide open on that nice corner route from tight end corner, able to, to kind of set myself up. And then now I'm back on this other hash mark. And as you'll see here, now I can basically do the same thing um, on the backside. Same exact concept, but it's now we're just going this direction. And you see right there, his user is going to have to go up the seam. Uh, that was what we scored the touchdown on last time. And now we're able to move. Uh, and now the other thing that's really cool about this playbook um, that I like is the fact that the bunch tight end has inside zone out of it, um, which it doesn't seem like a big deal, but inside zone is such a good run from gun bunch. It, it really is, uh, or from bunch tight end, because you can do that little cut back right there. That actually didn't end up working out too well for me that time, but I do have the ability to do that. Now, uh, if he got, if I got ball at half, I'd probably be calm you know be completely fine uh with taking my three here but i don't and so we're gonna call flood and that's what makes flood so good is zone drops don't really stop it unless they drop their zones to a very specific depth and so because of that you're very easily able to just kind of pop that little out route wide open i think flood is one of the hardest plays to stop in the game um if they run match coverage on it it, it match coverage is going to be is going to have a lot of issues against flood uh and so you see i'm able to go down get seven and get back on the defense side of the ball so far so good for the offense and the defense kind of working in combination with one another and uh, the Jets playbook is just super hard. I, I think the Jets playbook is probably at least top five as far as playbooks go in the entire game. It has some really good running plays that you can audible into out of the wide trips, out of the, obviously the bunch tight end inside zone. And then of course the trip tight end offset. And I personally think the trip tight end offset is probably the best shotgun running formation uh, in the entire game. So you have that, you have a bunch of things that you can really go in between. All the while you still have, you know, such a phenomenal phenomenal uh, combination of plays with that mesh play the mesh post and then obviously the Jets dig um, you know so anyways it's just a very very good playbook all right so defensively on this drive um, three minutes and 27 seconds left I kind of want to see how he handles uh, man coverage a little bit um, one of the things one of the, like my little rules of thumb too is I'll run match coverage or man coverage and just kind of see how they deal with both of those. Um, you can kind of really mess people up if you got a good match coverage combined with a good man coverage. So like right here, it uh, looks like he's in that tray open offset again. We're going to go just with some basic man-to-man -man coverage there, and we almost got a pick on that one. He tried to force a streak. He actually had the running back open there. We got to kind of monitor that. It looks like his main route or main player that's open a lot of the time is indeed his running back. So right here, going to go to a little man coverage. Um, going to try to maybe bracket that running back a little bit, but also have some stuff there for like a motion slant or something. Um, I'm not really worried about anybody on that left side. So what we're going to do is kind of have that curl flat out there, fitter just to be able to go vertical with him. And he's going to try to throw it up. Will Redman uh, makes a great play on Devontae Adams, and we're able to kind of sit in that man coverage. Now, right here, um, we're actually going to probably send some man-to-man -man pressure on him uh, and just kind of see how he handles it. Here he's in that 4x1. Uh, I don't know what this I don't know what this formation's te technical name is, but he's in a pretty good spot here. We're actually going to move our D-line backside here. Um just to try to get that pressure at him. And he actually completed that out route to Robert Tunyon, but we're able to get a good stop here. And we're gonna to try to send that same pressure again. I just don't think he can handle the pressure. Every time we've sent pressure, it's really been a good result for us. We don't send pressure a ton out of this formation, um, but we certainly can. And here he's going to, let's see, block his running back. 
and that time Savage makes the play for us. And now we're in a really good position. I'm perfectly okay taking three here if I, if I need to. Um, I can take three. I can go down and get seven. Um, you know, one, this is where you definitely don't want to give him the ball back with a ton of time on the clock. It's really important when you think about the whole, the, the big picture of like getting out of games. This is really important, this, this drive right here. So one of the things that I like to do out of Jets Dig is I like to turn it into essentially another version of Flood. Um, but I love this little flat route right here to the running back. And so you'll see here like, and right there, I almost threw it right back to him, but I got that nice low ball pass to Tavon Austin to be able to beat that man-to-man -man coverage. Uh, right here, I'm going to go to Mesh Post. Um, just kind of a standard. This is really, truly one of the number, you know, top three or four plays out of this formation all time, I think. Um, and we missed the read. That's okay. And we're going to take, we're going to just throw that away, live to find another down. Lucky for us, we got the two-minute warning. So it didn't matter necessarily that we, you know, that we just threw it away. And uh, ball in the 29. Now, remember, now, you know, the big thing with bunch, too, is understanding the hash marks, understanding that as well. You know, so like right here, we're on the short side of the field. So we're going to audible or basically flip the play. And now we're on the wide side. And the cool part about this is really does mess with people's adjustments. Um, you'll see that people aren't always able to make as good of adjustments because when you flip the play and then you're just instantly into whatever you need to be into that you'll find that makes a big difference. So like right here, I'm going to audible to flood, and then I'm just going to flip the play really quickly. You see that he doesn't move, his guys don't move at all, and now we've got a really advantageous position. We're able to hit that, that tight end uh, flat route, make a little double juke to get a nice little one cut up the field, and then we're able to go into a really good position now. Uh, now right here, uh, this is where I really, really like to go ahead and, and try to hit the mesh corner play with that route to Tavon Austin, depending on what he does. Uh, it actually looks like he's going to go to man coverage, so we're just going to low ball that in route. And that was a mistake by me. I tried to rack catch that, and I should have I should have went ahead and uh, possession caught that. That was just a mistake by me. So 58 seconds left, and we're trying to score a touchdown here. We're going to go to the play mesh post. Um, and I have a couple of different versions of this play that I like to run. This one in particular is, um, is is kind of more of a zone beater. He has been running a lot more man coverage, but I think he's in zone here. So we'll see here. Sends a pressure off that left side. We're going to kind of try to truck with Tunyon. Didn't end up working out for us. And that means we're going to have the we're going to have a third down 11 coming up. Now remember here, I'm okay if we don't get a touchdown. I definitely don't want to throw the ball away here. I'm either going to take a sack or I'm going to have a dot, um, you know, depending on you know what happens here but i can't it's really really important that i don't um that i don't take a sack here so we're gonna go to our bread and butter play flood i think i think flood might truly be the best play uh in madden 21 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run um a little concept here that's actually really good uh it was ran on me a lot in the madden classic and it's basically a smart routed option route to aaron jones right here um and he actually ended up covering it pretty good so we're just gonna fall down as you see there, we basically hold left trigger, click the right joystick in, fall down, take your sack. It forces him to have to use another timeout, which makes it a little bit more, you know, harder for him to go down and just get, you know, a touchdown on this next drive. Um, and so as long as we could be up three possessions, I'm completely okay with that. He went with a D. I, I think I probably had the, the left side flood concepts open. I just missed it. And I was thinking that his line, his he's not using zone drops, and so if he if he used zone drops, I would have had that running back, but he wasn't using them, and so that vert hook ended up you know kind of falling back into a really good position. So good job by him on that play. Now defensively, right here, you know he hasn't shown a great ability to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage, so we're gonna go with that right here. So we're going man coverage. We've got him, you know, pretty much across the board. Everybody's manned up. Now, based off here, so you see he's going to move people around. So now we're going to, you know, basically adjust with him. And we're going to see here PA cross again. And we're just going to try to go to the crossing routes and good defense all over the field by that man coverage. So, so far, defense is playing pretty solid. Nothing we really need to do too much. And it looks like that tr that's the formation. It's called the trio offset. Um trio offset weak and for whatever reason i can't adjust 
Uh, and I don't know why I can't audible, but I can't audible down like I want to. And that's causing a little bit of an issue here. So let's see here. Trio offset, a little quick route to the back. We're going to take that away. Our user's there, burying down, and there's a sack. So now this is where that's really important. So now he doesn't have time. You see that right there? He doesn't have time. So we're just going to sit in that cover four drop. Kind of try to keep everything in front of us there. Jair is going to throw a pick, um, which is fine because the clock ran out. So I guess that's fine on his end too. And I think he's going to get ball at half here though. So he does have plenty of opportunity. Whenever you get ball at halftime, you're really never out of a game um, because you can always come out and score seven. So he's going to get the ball, be able to come out, you know, and potentially, uh, you know, be, potentially make this a two possession game. Um, so, you know, we've got to stay on, on top of things defensively. Now, again, if you want to get the full defensive ebook, it's on sale right now for just 15 bucks in the description. And then the bunch tight end version of this offense is also on sale for just 15 bucks in the description as well. If you want to pick that up, uh, pretty much everything, it, it shows not just everything you can do from New York's gun bunch tight end, but it also shows everything that you can do from bunch tight end really in general. Um, and so if you want to get the full bunch tight end offense, it's a very simple and easy to follow guide um, that has helped a ton of people offensively so far this season. All right, so right here, first and 10. And we're just going to kind of stay in our man coverage. And it looks like he's going to go to a little trap run. And that's what I love about this 3-3-5 wide defense. I mean, I didn't have great run defense right there. But you see, the defense just stops the run. Um, and it forces people to have to pass the ball uh, at a high level to be able to beat this. And obviously when they pass, you know, you can use your adjustments and things like that. I think that was the 5-6 trap he just ran on us. And the defense was able to, to take advantage of that. So right here, we're going to see what he does here uh, as far as passing. If he does drop back a bunch of people, and he's going to go ahead and go with the run again. And that's going to force a three and out. Now it looks like he's going to go ahead and go for this. And this might be the ball game. If he doesn't get this here, um, this is not good for him. Got the slant. And good read by there. And he was able to win that press animation. And we're going to go back to that uh, pressure defense. Now, if he's running a lot of 5-6 trap type stuff, it's actually better to shift away um, than to shift toward the strong side. So, like, right here, we're going to shift towards the weak side just based on what he's been doing. If he's running, like, a wham concept or something like that. Um, try to move my user this direction here to try to get a user rush instant sack. And that's, that's what I like to do against under center. If you can, like, almost every time... If they go under center, I literally almost nine times out of 10 will user rush them. Um, and the reason why is because the pressure gets on you so quickly that it's really hard for the running back to step up and block it. Even if you block the running back, you, you're not always able to pick up the pressure. Um, and I feel like that's the biggest reason why under center is so hard to justify being able to run this year. Like, because you because that can happen to you, like, it's, it's hard to justify running it. Right here, I know I'm going to have to go guard Devontae Adams. And right there, he actually tried to force it up the seam. And that's going to bring up a third down and 17. And we're going to go with a little bit of a different... We're going to go with a little bit of change up here. We're going to go with a, a seam flat, you know, basically stock adjusted cover three. Um, and trying to get some pressure here right up the A-gap if he doesn't block anybody. And he's going to go play action. Here. Actually, he's going to get open. But Jair Alexander... Because he's in the zone, he's going to make the play for us. And that's a huge stop right there. And that's going to kind of clean up the game. I don't know if he'll quit out or not. But at this point, now I'm in a really good position to be able just to simply go down and close the game out. And the only way that I would lose this game really is going to be if I lose this game. Okay, There's really not a whole lot that he can do at this point to get back in the game with only six minutes left to go. Um, and so that's why we're instantly going to go to this you know, this little inside zone out of bunch tight end. Uh, I think this inside zone out of bunch tight end might be the best just pure inside zone run in the entire game. It's super, super hard uh, to flip it or to to, uh, to shoot it, which is really, really cool. Uh, right there, a little quick blitz. And the beauty of the bunch is that these little quick throws are super hard to guard uh, as well. You saw a little quick throw right there. You're about to see another one right here. We're going to use an out route. Just to create some space. Like right here, a little quick out route to the tight end. A little air truck to get up the field a little bit better. 
put us in a pretty good position down in distance wise. And you're seeing, I mean, these, these two formations are super, super complimentary. Now you notice that he doesn't have an inside stuff guy in the field. You also notice where his alignment is. So I'm going to try to cut this run back. Um, and it didn't end up working out for me. I don't know what happened on that. We're actually going to go right back into that though, because I feel like based off of what he's doing alignment wise, I'm going to ID this outside guy here. And what I'm going to try to do is get table on Austin, uh, to block the corner and he didn't end up blocking him, but I was able to kind of shoot it right up the middle and get enough yardage for almost a first down. Uh, and now what we're just going to do is we're just going to come out and we're going to run. Uh, the fullback dive and i forgot that i i think this is something that you only have out of new york only certain playbooks have this uh this uh spl halfback split o but i love running the halfback split o because i think it's such a hard run to shoot so depending on what he does you know we're gonna we, we're not gonna do that here um just because he's kind of given us that but what i'll probably do here is i'll take this down to the fourth quarter you know, and this is where you'll start clocking a little bit. You know, he's got three timeouts, you got four minutes left. In regs, you can take off 45 seconds of the clock, um, you know, and so we'll be able to kind of close this game out. But this is a competitive game, obviously. And let's see here. He's going to go off sides, and it looks like he is going to go ahead and clit out. So good game to this guy. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to get the full ebooks on either the offense or the defense, those are available in the description. And if you would like to get free previews, just text the word uh, Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video today, guys, and we'll see you on stream tonight at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.